everyone, my name is Jess and I'm here with IELTS expert Don from IDP. We're here to answer some of the questions that you asked about the IELTS test. So some of my friends had to actually resit the IELTS test. The examiners must know what score they needed and yet they didn't get through. Is this some sort of profit making thing, um, you know, just to make money? Well, no. The examiner doesn't know any personal details about the test taker, so that doesn't influence uh, a score at all. In terms of the writing, uh, that is scored online by two separate examiners who do not know each other necessarily, who are not collaborating in any way. They give scores independently. The IELTS test assesses your performance on a particular day. And your for performance may change. Uh, your friend should consider how much preparation they had done before the test. Uh, they might consider how confident they felt before the test. It might even come down to whether they'd had enough sleep. So tell me, Don, why are band scores different from test to test? Uh, they're not in most cases. There is a lot of consistency between one test and another test for most test takers. Um, test takers often find, however, that one component of the test is more or less difficult than the others. And uh, for many test takers, this is academic writing, where they don't score as well as they might for speaking, listening and reading. Uh, there are lots of reasons for that, of course. Uh, our skills don't always develop at the same uh, rate. It may be due to schooling, it may be due to the amount of practice we do. One way that a test taker can uh, look at this and understand exactly where they are in terms of their performance is to go to the IELTS progress check at IELTSessentials.com and this will help them understand a little bit better what they need to do to improve. So what about how familiar I am with the topic of the test? Does that have any influence on how I could score? Well, of course, the topics will change from test to test, uh, but what the test is doing is not assessing your knowledge of a particular topic. It's assessing your knowledge of English, your ability to use English and your ability to read or listen for things. So the topics are trialled and the questions related to those topics are trialled for up to two years by English language experts. And uh, that ensures that in fact, what we are testing is not your knowledge of a particular subject, but your knowledge of English. So Don, as I understand, while there are many factors that can influence your performance, the best thing you can do is be well prepared so that you perform your best on the test day. That's right, Jess. Thanks for that, Don, and thanks for listening in. We've added a bunch of materials and resources below this video. Make sure you check them out and all the best with your test.